Hey y'all, just wanted to drop in. Dying so, but I just wanted to come on live and wish you a happy 7-7 seven, seven portal. I just did it live on Instagram at 11, 11 But just wanted to share some of the things that have been coming up for me that I feel important to share. And, um, you know, mostly the work that I've been doing over the last couple weeks and over the last year, really, since I started working with Matias um, more heavily and preparing to go to work with Matias again in Argentina in November for 11-11. So today's 7-7. Seven, seven. So I find these type of synchronistic dates important. 2-2-2, 2022, I was in Egypt in the pyramids. And, um, you know, here I am in Sedona inside of one of my favorite cave spots today and working with the elemental energy and the energy of the dragons. And this year, my work has been around a lot around water. You know, I shared this water prayer activation that I'm going to be doing soon. And the importance of water, the importance of tuning into the elements. I was talking to a friend yesterday and we were saying how, you know, there's some fear out there in the multiverse about food shortage or, or water shortage happening eventually and us not having access to water. And I was actually in an earth ship um, on my way back from Colorado. I spent the night in an earth ship in Taos and, you know, um, that earth ship collects rainwater and that's its main water source is rainwater. So, Basically, what, I, what I'm getting to is there's no fear. We can live sustainably and we can live in sync and in tune with the elements. They might have technologies that can do whatever, control weather patterns or control thought patterns or whatever. But we also have these technologies. These technologies are ingrained in us. And once we remember that and reclaim our power, the power that we have in this life, in these bodies, in these avatar bodies, knowing that we're divine beings, that we're co-creating a reality through collective consciousness, you know, we become unstoppable. And these beings and these entities that we give our power away to, like they only have power because we give them power because we believe that they have some kind of authority or they have some kind of say and they want you to think that so that you continue giving them power through fear but it's not true <laughs> and liberating ourselves from that is very powerful knowing that we have the power to shift focus on your own power don't focus on anybody else's focus on your own power the power you have over your own life to make choices to make better choices every day in every way choosing love choosing life choosing freedom choosing to be in alignment with your divine blueprint here to be of service and purpose you are your purpose you are purpose you are abundance claiming that as your i am i am I don't need things from outside of me. I don't need validation because I already am all of these things centered in my heart. So here I am inside this little cave tuning into the earth and just recognizing that divine connection. You know, thinking back to the ancestors and those uh, before the industrial ages, how much more tuned in people were with the earth and the elements. And I just like to imagine a world where we really listen to the plants, to the, the earth, to the sky, to the creatures, and to each other. You know, and we're able to really show up for each other and not uh, just shun things off because there's so much ego, there's so much spiritual ego, and there's so much, um, you know, competition. And all that stuff is fun and nice sure not really <laughs> i would rather live in a reality where we're really able to honor each other respect each other and see each other and i like this reminder that the point of the universe is not to unify because the universe is already unified it's already one thing it's already one we're all we are all already one and once we tune into that oneness then we recognize that actually the point of the universe is expansion and to diversify, to create more life, to expand. 
you know, so the, I, I, that's, that truth has really helped me. The other truth that's really helped me is uh, letting go of any fear of death. Knowing that death is a part of the process always. It's part of your process. It's part of everything's process. And the more we can embrace that, appreciate that, and know that that is inevitable for all of us. I've seen it in ayahuasca journeys where there's this uh, plug being pulled out and everyone being unplugged from the matrix and going into a black hole. And finding peace with that. Actually, a lot of peace comes with with that. <laughs> really. Um, there's a lot of peace in just going into the black hole, into the void, and just being in stillness and quiet. But, you know, we got these beautiful minds that that uh, want to explore and want to expand and want to learn and grow. And so we create problems and, or we create uh, circumstances from this blank slate. So we have the power to go back into that blank slate as a collective consciousness to choose to go into the void, to rewrite our reality, one that is more colorful, more harmonious. It's already so beautiful and vast, though. Can we notice that? Yes. But we can balance our own inner elements, working with our own elements within to bring more harmony without, uh, more peace without, more well-being, more gentleness. So I'm just, I just encourage you to take time out to really listen and honor where you're at and just coming into a centered space of peace and forgiveness right now so you can move forward into whatever it is that you want to give life to. Um, I would just like to remind you that you're here to experience joy. You're here to experience the other emotions as well, but... And maybe you're not done experiencing them, but I, I give you privilege. I give you privilege. I give you, <laughs> yes, it is a privilege. And I give you permission to feel and experience joy on a daily basis. You don't have to please anybody anymore. You're not here to please people. You are here to find peace within yourself and find joy. Tapping into that inner child again and releasing shame, releasing guilt, releasing worry, releasing pain, releasing punishment, and choosing freedom for yourself and for others. Um, I had posted asking what your favorite healing modalities are uh, yesterday or day before, and I got a lot of responses. I haven't had a chance to really go through all of them all and like tally. I wanted to tally to see what I got the most response of. Um, but I wanted to say that for me personally the most beneficial healing tool or breakthrough tool technology for me has been sound because sound has helped me to calibrate who i am today reclaim my power and remember my truth tap into ancient memories but beyond that beyond like sound healing or or uh chanting or these kind of things the root of all of that, the root of every healing practice, whether you're working with medicines or you're doing energy work um, or whatever type of therapy, the root of all of them stems from intention, which is the word. In the beginning, there was the word. What is our intention with life? Because drinking a glass of water can be incredibly healing and can shift your reality with intention. If you pause and state an intention or a sound into that before you drink it, it can have immense healing benefits. So I want us to notice how we could be having breakthrough moments and epiphanies and miracles happen in the simple things because that's where we cultivate and cultivate more joy because joy doesn't really come from oh my god like i mean yeah like that that is joyful like i'm just like wow cool i just had a cool vision of someone giving me like an, an amazing house an amazing car and i'm just like yes that that is joy but 
the reason that came into my being is because of my intention for joy, my intention and the, the allowing something like that to even come in. Okay, this is a manifestation technique, right? So just experiencing the joy that something like epic, like a gift or a partner or an amazing adventure, tuning into that joy that it brings you in the moment and staying there, not needing it to even happen, being detached. Just the idea of being enough. For me, that's like one of my favorite things is just like, I maybe it's because I have Pisces and Venus or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like pretty dreamy and I'm pretty astral. I'm able to go into these astral spaces and have these experiences and I'm like really satisfied by them. Or I'm like, you know, this this is enough. And that has really helped me to manifest things that I want in my life by just already being in joy, already being enthusiasm and noticing like that doesn't mean I, I don't um, waver because I definitely do waver where I'm like, how am I going to pay my bills or like what's happening? Like, you know, my lifestyle is crazy, but but I always have faith and I always remember like miracles are always happening to me and I am able to stay in that vibe most of the time and I'm just consistently surprised and overjoyed by life. I'm consistently uh, given opportunities that are mind blowing. And, but it's also this consistency of showing up every day for growth, for expansion, for healing, for uh, well being, for Mother Earth. So I don't always show up online, but I always show up for myself in my own life, in my own prayers and intentions and practices. And I always show up to talk to God and I always show up to talk to nature. And because of that, I feel like I'm able to be centered in a space of well-being. And I'm able to live my life pretty joyfully and pretty flowing and easily. So I just wanted to share all of this with you for the 7-7 portal and also just share my offerings. I'm doing quantum healing with dragons right now and it's really cool. Um, and I also am going to be starting to work out of Shine here in Sedona soon, off offering shamanic sound healings and tuning fork therapy as well as intuitive readings. But I also do all of these things virtually and I also do them out on the land if that's something that you feel like you want to experience with me. Uh, we can do deep dives and journeys and all kinds of different things to help us come into more joy, come into.